It's an amazing product. I've been using it for so long now. It just uh, it just makes such a difference. I mean, I think it's um, a great piece of equipment, and um, on a number of horses, it's uh, invaluable. It's been a huge boon to the long-term welfare of the horse, their competitiveness, the durability of their careers. I find uh, it's been very beneficial to me, and uh, I couldn't be without it. The hoof pad's great. Uh, we use it in two ways. Uh, one is uh, pre-competition, um, and it really seems to help the horses perform better. I've had a lot of sore sold horses, horses that uh, might be lame today, and uh, give them a couple of therapy treatments on the, the hoof pad, and they, they come sound without any veterinarian work at all. Uh, we've had good luck with it. Uh, Long-term use on horses that have you know, chronic, sore feet, tender feet, bruised feet. It's ideal to increase circulation, especially down to those front feet, which uh, you could always stand to do. Well, our experience with the transpirator, we find it very beneficial, primarily in, uh, in the horses that have a lot of mucus, lung mucus, uh, upper respiratory uh, diseases. We've had three or four major horses that uh, were having long-term problems, and we've been able to manage them much better since we've uh, been using the transpirator. The neck pad and also the blanket is uh, is a huge help, especially when we're moving around a lot, and uh, you know it's one less thing to have to worry about. Uh, usually, we take it to shows because it's easier to bring with us and uh, we can tie them in their stalls so they don't have to stand out in the groom stalls while they're on it if we're doing something else. I mean every horse is go through the, the process of using the centurion and uh, they come out, they, get, they come looser and uh, ready to do their job. Most riders say it, their backs are very, it warms up their backs a little bit and we definitely use it like once a day when they're hacking and twice a day for sure if they're jumping, so before and after. Horses always jump better when, when they've had them on I, I use them before competition and after. A daily basis on certain horses as a routine before they train and I use it before they run also in jurisdictions where we're allowed to do that. We use it more for um, if there's any for injuries or if there's inflammation or something like that. We usually don't use it unless there's a problem. Generally not so much on race day, but uh, we use it more as a, just as a therapeutic uh, program. Pre-showing uh, uh, and also post-showing, uh, which again, you know, they're both so important to us because the horses have to come out, back out the next day and, and probably compete again and they have to feel just as good as they did the first day. I have a filly right at the moment that's won her last three starts since we've been putting the blanket on her and that. Uh, it's just a fantastic piece of equipment. So I've had a big horse uh, for numerous years called Catwalk, and she's taken me to the top level of competition. We've gone to the World Cup Finals and uh, represented Canada on the team, and uh, I've used it uh, throughout her career, uh, before competition and before training, and it's been a wonderful uh, aid for her. Yeah, I did the experiments. I did uh, some horses without and some horses with it and it was definitely a difference. What, what those uh, machines have been able to do is bring a, a level of comfort to the horses that before, before they came along you just couldn't provide.